What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here, honey, on our way to running an errand. Got an appointment to be at. Um, I really didn't have anything to talk about. Um, I was trying to go through the blogs real quick, you know what I'm saying, to see what was going on. He is a I part sponsored of it. the now yes. I sponsored the Let blog. Me tell you something. On the blogs, and there was a couple of stories. One of the first stories that I saw was Cher breaking up with AE. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Our prayers have been answered. We lit enough candles. We chanted enough to get that lady away from that weird ass, dirty looking ass dude. You know what I'm saying? He he looked like he's musty. He really does. I'm sorry. I'm so glad. She said it, it was something the same. She didn't like his demeanor when he was in the studio, his demanding demeanor when he was in the studio so she probably just saw a glimpse of him that she didn't like but girl that fixed my side mirror but yeah girl we're so happy that Cher has broke up with AE we're happy about it <laughs> I know I am I hate to see Cher go out like that you know because we always look to Cher for, you know, her nuggets and her, you know, her wisdom, a 70 something year old woman giving us wisdom on how to, um, how she relates to, you know, men. And then, you know, you come out talking about you, you no, <laughs> we don't like it. We don't like it. And then, you know, everybody else looking at it as it's a, like, it's a lick, like, oh, he hit a lick. You got this old ass white woman. And now, now, you know, that's how, you know, you know, a lot of dudes, like, especially in California, I, I mean, I know just from in California, dealing with dudes from California, especially from Northern California, they have like a pimp mentality. A lot of men just have like this, that like a pimp mentality. And, but especially from California, they kind of get off on being able to get over on women. Like that's something that they aspire to do, these Northern California dudes, like really, because it's a, it's a, like a pimp, a pimp mentality. It really is. So if they can find a woman to get over on or to hit a lick, they're praised and, you know, everybody's slapping high fives and slapping hands and, and proud of them. You know, they really get off on that up here. Um, so I'm sure all his friends were like, yeah, you know, you got share she got big money you know what i'm saying so nobody wanted to see her go out like that i for sure didn't want to see share oh, I, didn't, I forgot my water i did not so and another thing that i saw um was um kkk kim and confederate croy they won old a million dollars I think I don't know if it's each a million dollars in um, taxes to the IRS and then um, then after that both of them filed for, I mean they filed for divorce now you know divorce you know marriage is a business so what they're doing is basically dissolving the business I guess so they don't go for both of their assets and in a divorce maybe they can split their assets and then see how they can individually go after their money or pay their money off without losing money in the business of their marriage. But I was here for what Bethany said to them. We're not going to respect your privacy. You wanted to act like you had big money. You want to act like you were richer than everybody. You wanted to act like you wanted to live be above your means. That, that, a lot of that goes on in Georgia. You wanted to act like you were, you had more money than you did. You were spending more money than you had. And here it is. Hey, I love what Bethany was like. Y'all, you know, y'all doing the cars, the, the houses, the fillers, the filters, <laughs> But Bethany said it right. You got to if you want to be rich and got, want money, want to act like you got money, you got to pay your taxes. I mean, it's just what it is. Pay your damn taxes. 
shit, I have to pay taxes too. Hell. And I don't, and I don't, and I don't know what, I don't even know what Kim Zolciak does. What does she do? Does she, she has a skincare line? And what else? So she got some stuff on, um, Home Shopping Network, HSN. Which, I mean, what does she do? What does Kim Zolciak do? What does Croy, Croy do? Croy don't play football anymore, does he? I don't know nothing about them white folks at all. Nothing about them, okay? Nothing about them people. All I know is I don't like to see, I don't like the fact that um, later on in the season, whack-ass Sheree is going to bring the original Housewives of Atlanta Housewives on. Um, I guess they're having a dinner. We saw it in the, we saw it in the um, trailer. It was Kim, um, Lisa, and Deshaun. I don't know who else. And uh, uh, and Sheree. But, girl, why are you bringing her on this show? Especially the way she acted that, that season when um, she said she, she has to be, no other white woman would get on stage with five black women, five African-American women and racism is just something that has 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 what she say something about social media and racism girl shut up kim is another whack one so yeah so you owe the irs pay up and we're not going to respect your privacy because you want to be big and bad and want to show everybody how much wealth you have when you really have none and brag and remember, somebody showed a clip last night um on, um, I don't remember what blog it was, but, um, where she was telling, uh, where, um, Kenya told her to go worry about her husband not having a job. He's six years, some she was saying in the NFL, he's something with his contract girl. Well, y'all not paying your bills. I just don't under, I really don't understand not the taxes thing, not paying your taxes. And, and then you act like the people are not going to catch up with you. That's the that's the part that just get, that gets me. You act like people are not going to catch up with you. You just act like like what? So pay your money, Kim. KKK Kim and Confederate Croy. I told you they probably got. I know. I know if you go down into Kim's basement, there's Confederate flags and guns and 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 deer heads up <laughs> mounted up on the wall. <laughs> mounted up on the wall. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, Last night, they were showing clips from the Basketball Wives reunion. What is that show about? That's what I wanted to know. What is Basketball Wives about now? That's crazy. Because I'm like, what what do they be talking about? What is the show about? Just about the women. They need to change the name. They really do. They really need to change the name to something else. Just like they need to change the name of um, Real Housewives of Potomac. They really need to take that entire franchise, that franchise, rename it something else and take it out of the housewives fold because they don't represent what housewives are supposed to represent in my, in my opinion. I saw a clip of them at some club. It was um, Wendy, Wendy, I think I saw Ashley square body, rectangular shaped body. And I think I saw Karen. I might've saw Giselle's no rhythm, have an ass. I think I saw her too. I'm, I'm telling you, I am not, I told y'all I'm not reviewing that show at all. I'm, I am done with that show. That show, just the people on there is just so whack. Like every single person is whack. Shout out. I mean, like shout out to Wendy and Candace. And I'm sorry, they're going to, you know, that's, they're the collateral damage from that, but the show is whack. And hopefully, like Candace said, her and Chris said they were going to give it a five year, a five year go. And hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, this is their fifth, this is Candace's fifth year. So hopefully she's, you know, going to leave after this year because it's like, is it worth it, you know? But anyways, um, what else did I see on the blogs? Um, I saw that Goldman Goldman Sachs is giving more money to black women entrepreneurs um, because they are making they they are making black women entrepreneurs are are actually surpassing white male and white and white female entrepreneurs um, in the market. So they 
um, want to give more money to black female entrepreneurs so that they can try and close the this gap. And um, and I, I want to I actually want to read a quote from that. I don't think I'm going to come to a stop anytime soon, but I wanted to read a quote from them saying, you know, the women entrepreneurs are leaders in their community. And then I saw I saw a tweet from um, from Erica Badu saying that men want want to be chased now. Y'all the one y'all got Iyanla out here campaigning. We love service workers campaign. She she's the one that asked the damn question, and now all of a sudden they done turned it into some we love service workers campaign. But y'all have changed. Like y'all keep saying women women are men in skirts. Um, women are masculine and all this other stuff. What do you think the men are? What do you, and if you live in a, if you are in a traditional mindset, you don't, you are not going to want to chase a man, but y'all have made that created an environment like that. You've created an environment like that. You give men rewards for doing what they're supposed to do for nothing. You, you chase them, you give, like, the part is you give them, you reward them for, for doing absolutely nothing, for nothing. So what do you think? Yeah, they think they're the prize. So they want you to chase them. Child. Y'all gotta change, y'all gotta change the environment. And that's what I was saying yesterday, like, when, when, you know, Ebony, she gets bombarded with all these things, calling people, calling people or, or not people, but jobs average. And then you have Kevin Samuels, on the other hand, who are calling women basic, calling women th- their appearance, calling them basic and average at best. And no one said a word. No one went as hard on him as they went on Ebony. And now women are elevating their standards. You're telling women they're average. They're elevating their standards. And now it's leaving out all of those men who were in Kevin Samuels, um, comments, clapping, degrading women, throwing tomatoes at women. Now those men are being left out. They're being left out of the selection because they're now, they're the ones who are average at best and have always been average at best. And now the women are raising their standards and don't want nothing to do with these Negroes. And now they're upset when that's the reason why, when we were talking about, um, how monogamy and poly relationships work, um, because monogamy makes it so that average men can get, have partners. They create the, they create these dynamics when men suffer, when men suffer, they create dynamics, marriage for love, getting married for love and not at, and not looking at it as a business, a, as a business decision where you would actually want to partner with somebody who can go into business. I always say never marry it, never marry a, a person you would not go into business with because your marriage is, is truly a business. And there's no argument about that. I don't want to hear nothing. I was watching Queen Charlotte the other day and um, she was telling her sons, yeah, you you find somebody that makes sense and then you choose to love them. And the way that they marketed marriage to where, no, we don't want one man having access to multiple women in a poly type relationship where the man is able to take care of multiple women. No, we want you to marry for love. So this average ass nigga who really doesn't have anything and you marrying for love and he don't have nothing can get can have access to you. And now look, nobody's staying married. People are getting divorced on average after eight years. You know, it's not working. The model isn't working. Getting married for love is not how you do it. You marry somebody you would go into business with. You marry somebody who is a good business person, who makes good business decisions. Stupid ass. I don't understand what is the purpose of not letting people over. Like like what 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 do you get out of that? That's just that shit is so weird to me. What what comes from not letting somebody over when you see they're trying to merge into traffic? Why would you speed up? Stupid. But that's what it is. 
Um, and you know, that's why they say monogamy, monogamy, they have women believing, well, I mean, you know, you know, people, you know, monogamy for some is safer because, you know, the way that people, you know, run around here and, you know, get involved and, you know, it's safer in a sense, right? But when you're marrying for love, it gives an average man access to you. You understand? And now you have these average men who have access to women they should not have access to. Because y'all marrying for love. Trying to find somebody you in love with to marry. Girl, bye. And he don't have a lick of sense. Not a lick of business sense or anything. Can't manage nothing. But you want him to be the head of household and the leader. Girl, just because he has a penis. Well, we're not getting into that. But that's why Erica Badu says that these men want, these men want um, women to chase them. That's in, that's the dynamic. They think they're the prize. They think they're the prize. I was also seeing some stuff about Krishan. Krishan um, having a baby and Blueface saying he don't want the baby and she talking about, he says he doesn't want a future with me. I was like, girl, this is a mess. This is a, truly a stone cold, hot Cheeto ghetto mess. <laughs> it is. It really is. And it's really sad. And everybody keeps saying that baby going to change her. Then we just see a clip of her out in the club partying, shaking the baby up. Shaking the baby up. Crazy. Crazy as hell. Let me get over. Come on. Shaking the baby up. But the baby's going to change her. The baby's going to change her. And he talking about she wants to play on baddie baddies, go on baddies and get start fighting again. I don't know. That's I don't even understand what's going on on those shows. Like, what is the purpose of the show? What what is the purpose of baddies or bad boys? I don't get it. I, I don't know. They don't even do any activities, do they? Like, I remember on Bad Girls Club that didn't they used to go out and try and do stuff? You know, these people, they don't do nothing. They just stay in the house and ar- drink and argue. It's like, what? How? Your nervous system, the nervous system is jacked up. I don't know. I, I find it, I, I just find it useless. Like ba- the Basketball Wives, another show. It's like, what are y'all doing? It's like, I don't know. It's just, we just sitting around talking. I mean, what's going on? I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. I don't like people who tailgate. Get off my ass. Anyways, so I really don't have any el- anything else to talk about. Maybe on the way back, I'll look up some more stories to talk about. We could talk about them. But yeah, don't chase these niggas. Leave them alone. Don't chase them. Y'all, y'all know better. The majority of people watch t- that tune into this channel, they know damn better. You know damn better than that. Don't you ever get, don't ever let me catch you trying to chase in some nickel. Never. If you have in the past, okay. Okay. We're not, you're not doing that anymore. Okay. We're not doing that anymore. You're not chasing anybody. You're keeping your standards high as giraffe pussy. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing any of that crap. Okay. We're not playing those games. So if you've done it in the past, Give yourself grace, forgive yourself, but we're not doing that. Get out of that. You're not chasing no one and you're keeping your standards high. And if that means that you're going to be single, and that's another thing, this idea that some people want to be single, 
doesn't even cross these people's mind. Like some people want to be single. Some people enjoy developing friendships that are platonic. I think that's something that we probably need to talk about more is developing platonic relationships. I know it's hard for the heterosexuals and possibly the gays to um, have platonic relationships where there's no sexual kind of energy being exchanged, no romantic energy being exchanged. We are simply platonic friends. I think a lot of people, you know, they, they have this study that's saying that people are really lonely these days. And it's because I feel like people are not entering relationships that are truly valuable. You're trying to find somebody to have a romantic relationship with. You're not trying to find somebody to ha- just have a, a healthy, cool relationship with somebody. You want to be in a romantic relationship so bad. It's just like, it's really sad to me. So I think that's something that we need to talk about more is platonic relationships, developing platonic relationships um, more and putting you know, stock into that and investing into that more. And so you can have fulfilling relationships. You could still be single and have friends that you have fulfilling relationships with. You go out with, you travel with, you do not have to have a romantic, be in a romantic relationship. You just don't. Come on, white lady. All right, y'all take care of each other, protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.